We are now at question 6 of the CXC CSEC May 2014 General Paper 2 exam video solution. And in this question, we are given a graph. It's a graph of the quadratic function y equals x squared over the interval of the domain from negative 4 to 4. And we are given on the diagram the line segment such that m is the point negative 1 y, that's m right here, and n is the point x9, point n right here. And first part wants us to find the value of x and the value of y. Now x is the x coordinate at the point n, and we see clearly here at the point n, the x coordinate is 3, and so we can write that. The x coordinate at the point n is 3, and that is true because 3 squared is 9, and so x equals 3, which satisfy the coordinates of the point n. And at the point m, the x coordinate is negative 1, and we are trying to find the y coordinate. And so we can use a formula that y is equal to x squared. And so y would be equal to negative 1 squared at the point m. And negative 1 squared is equal to positive 1, and therefore y is equal to 1. And so the coordinates of the point m is negative 1, 1, and the coordinates of the point n is 3, 9. And so that's the answer for part A. Part B now wants us to find the gradient of the line MN. And the gradient of a line is given by the rise divided by the run from one point on the line to another point on the line. And if we observe the rise and the run from this point on the y-axis to this point, 1, 5, we can see that the rise is 2 units from 3 to 5 up and the run is 1 unit. So simply put, from this point to this point on the line, the rise is 2 and the run is 1 and therefore we can use that to calculate the gradient. Gradient is rise divided by a run from one point on the line to another point on the line and as I've said, if we simply use these two points on the line, we see that the rise is 2 and the run is 1. And that's an easy way we can find the gradient of the line MN. And that's it. The gradient of the line MN is 2 divided by 1, which is equal to 2. Part 2 of section B wants us to write the equation of the line MN. And since we know that the line MN crosses the y-axis at 3, that's the y-axis intercept, and we know that the gradient of the line MN is 2, we can use the gradient intercept form for the equation of a line. And this is it y is equal to mx plus c. And so the equation of the line mn is simply y equals 2x plus 3 because the gradient of mn is 2 and the y-axis intercept of mn is 3. And so y equals 2x plus 3 is the equation of the line mn. Next, we are asked to write the equation of the line which is parallel to mn and passes through the origin. We are calling that line L so we can show it on the diagram. Now, because it is parallel to MN, it has the same gradient as MN because parallel lines have the same gradient. And also, because that line L that we want passes through the origin, it will be of the form Y equals MX because then the C value is equal to zero. And we can show that parallel line on the diagram. This is the line L which is parallel to mn and passes through the origin. And so the equation of this line is y equals 2x because the gradient of mn is 2. And so the gradient of this parallel line is also 2. And since it passes through the origin, the c value is 0. And so the equation of this parallel line takes the form y equals mx. And so the equation of that line is y equals 2x because, as I said, the gradient m is equal to 2 and that's the answer for part 3 of question B. Let's move down now to part C. Now part C is asking us to draw carefully the tangent to the curve at the point 2, 4. We want to draw a tangent to this quadratic curve at the point 2, 4. So let's show the point 2, 4 on the diagram. This is a point 2, 4 on the diagram and to draw a tangent we have to use a ruler and position that ruler carefully and let's show that. This is our ruler and we have to position the ruler carefully such that right at the point the ruler appears to just touch the curve at that point such that 
the curve and the ruler the same direction at that point and we can go ahead and draw that line and this is it and once we have the line we can move the ruler out the way and so this is the tangent at the point 2 4 and let's show that the tangent at the point 2 4 is to be drawn such that it touches the curve at the point 2 4 and appears that at the point 2 4 the tangent and the curve will have the same gradient they will have the same direction at this point and also the same gradient and that is the answer for that part that's a tangent at the point 2 4 this line is a tangent at 2 4 I want us to also observe that this tangent passes through this point 1 0 and so we can mark that point the next part wants us to calculate the gradient of the tangent and so we can use these two points on the tangent to calculate the gradient and the gradient of a tangent would be equal to the rise divided by the run between these two points these two known points now on the tangent and that is the change in y divided by the change in x between these two points the change in y is the rise between these two points and the change in x is the run between these two points and that calculation works out to be 4 minus 0 that's the y value here minus the y value here divided by 2 minus 1 that's the x value here minus the x value here that is the grade of a tangent is the difference in y divided by the difference in x and it is 4 minus 0 that's the difference in y divided by 2 minus 1 which is the difference in x that works out to be 4 and so the gradient of this tangent is 4 and also I want you to note that the gradient of the curve at this point is also equal to 4 when we specify the gradient of a curve we have to specify the point on the curve where we want the gradient because as you go along the curve the direction of the curve is changing from point to point on the curve and therefore each point on the curve would have a different gradient and so we say the gradient of a point on a curve for a line all points on the line have the same direction as you go along the line and so we say the gradient of a line but when we are referencing a curve we have to specify the point on the curve where we want the gradient and the gradient at a point on a curve will be equal to the gradient of the tangent to the curve at that point because the curve and the tangent will have the same direction at that point and that is the case here the curve and the tangent have the same direction at this point and therefore they have the same gradient and therefore by calculating the gradient of this tangent we are actually calculating the gradient of this curve at this point and that's the answer for this part of the question the gradient of a tangent is 4 at this point and so the gradient of a curve at this point is also 4 and that's the end of part D and the end of question 6 and we'll do question 7 in our next video. See you then.